Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. In the last episode, we talked about rare, res rare resources that we got in, and we set up this nice um, foundation build. And we also set up this nice deuterium fuel rod build, which are already maxed out. Now, one thing I didn't do in this one is I did not set up um, chess, which I should have done. But you can kind of do a bit of a hack for that. And all you basically are going to do is you're going to bring this out. Oops, not that, not that, not that, sorry. I want to bring that out to there. And then the hack is bringing it right back inside. And the reason why this is, well, I guess a hack you could call it. Because it will fill this up. <coughs> As, let's just put this here. So this is going to bring in, well, I guess 30 per second. No, no, not quite 30 per second. These don't run at 30. These run at uh, 6 per second. So 2 is so maybe around 12 per second. It's not 30 per second because anyway, it doesn't matter. And then it's going to feed it right back in. But the key with this is that this will always keep making some, right? And yeah. That's basically kind of how it works. And I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to add a bunch of these on here. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut one of these. So that it actually... Yeah, there we go. So basically what's going to happen is this number will always stay at 10,000. Um, it just will always stay there. Well, as long as you're not withdrawing more than 10,000, of course. Which we can actually dump this into here and we can dump steel. I'll keep some of this other stuff is just junk. Um, <clears throat> can put warpers in our warper slot, put that into that slot, and we're good to go. So basically doing like this, this is you know kind of a cheating way instead of putting them in line here, because we have two well, we actually have um, we have two lines coming in. So we're always gonna be producing more than we're we're doing like this. But doing it by this will slowly but surely will add up. Now it does have to go through here, but it doesn't really matter. Like you could set this to this and it would still do it. Oh, it would still do it. It doesn't really matter what this number is set at. Because this will keep producing as fast as it can be brought in, which if you can, well, is, um, I'm not sure why it says 80. That doesn't make any sense. Cause it's not, my system say. Total nodes 40. I don't know what this means. 96. I don't understand what this is. 98. Anyway, I don't know what these mean. <laughs> Some kind of technical jargon, if you will. <clears throat> and because these have a backlog, uh, it'll be hard for this to ever run out until we start requesting tons of it. Which here we're already, you know, packing it in. And there you go. Anyway, that's a, kind of like a cheat for that. But what we want to get working on, I said in the last episode, is going to be plastic. Well, we don't have to do that because I totally forgot off camera because we're making graphene now. Where is my plastic build? Because we're making graphene or sorry, not making graphene. Since we're making more refined oil, we, or is it that? Is it this one? That's not where it's going out. It's going out down here. But since we're making, we're bringing in more refined oil because I set up another pa um down here I think oil array now again we're not using plastic for anything which is why we're full up but um, I set this one up here we have three six nine twelve I think we have 15 here and our plastic is at 10,000 now one thing I will do here is again I tend to forget to do this on some of these builds but again it's not a huge deal is I want to bring in now we're not going to be burst needing this plastic. Like it's not like we're going to be needing twenty thousand all of a sudden, like at, in one shot. But it's still a good thing to set up a bit of a buffer. And and the reason why you do that is that clipping through there. Uh, not really. I probably can't put another one on, can I? I just I can't let it go. Um, the reason why you do this, or for something say like the foundations, is because if I'm on a distant planet and I want to request. 20,000 I don't want oh here's the other um the light oil build that I have set up 
which I should have showed before because we are uh, where are we at we're not full by any means I just have it with hydrogen we're getting full this we don't have anything stored yet uh, it's because we just we won't because we're using it not as fast as we're, t we're making it but we're still using it um, <coughs> oh yeah sorry this here what reason why I have this set up is if I request 10,000 from this the machines will have to make 10,000 before I get any more but if I have a stockpile of 10,000, this 10,000 will get sent out and then this will automatically be feeding 10,000 back into it, if that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, so in today's episode, after all that jargon, is we want to look at making graviton lenses and making um, warpers, which basically are made from graviton lenses. So that's, they go hand in hand. Now this is on a six second cycle and then this is on a 10 second cycle. So obviously you don't, one of these can't feed both of these because this would have to be on a five second cycle uh, just because five is half of 10. So anyway, so you can't do it that way, but that's fine because graviton lenses, let's go into here. We'll be using warpers. Now they are also used in, ooh, nice. Let's go into our tech tree, into our techs. Now, graviton lenses are definitely used in something else. Oh, they're, okay, duh, they're used in green science, which is kind of where we can't unlock that. Why can't we unlock that yet? We can't unlock that because we need to have this, and we can't unlock that because we need to have that. So, might as well start. Yeah, we need to have one, two, three, four, four resources before this. but the um, graviton lenses go into this. Now the green science is like a bear because it's on a 24 second cycle, but you get two, so it's still on a 12 second cycle. So like that's a long time to get a green matrix. But if you have it set up correctly, you're gonna be using one per second. And you also need the quantum chips, which we haven't made yet. I don't know, I don't, well, I don't think we can actually make them because they are right here. We can't make them yet. Uh, we can research them. And we can make, well, obviously the circuit boards we have or whatever those are called. And we can make this because we have, we actually don't have the cadmium crystals. And they're used in optical graphing crystals, which we, no, we did not find those. I think we found something else. But again, they're made with hydrogen and graphene and diamonds. All things that we have, uh, not an abundance of, but we have plenty of. And of course our research is full. So. <clears throat> Let's set up a build. I'm just gonna ignore, I don't wanna, meh. I could set it up here. I should have put this up higher, but it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it's, might as well just keep going around in our little circle here. It's not hurting anything. And I can always double this up or put another small build here if I really want to. And all right, let's keep these in line, which are going to be on this kind of tropic, or not the, the tropic, they're on this line here. If I remember, that's what they're on, right? That one's on that one, that one's on that one, and that one, yeah, okay. <clears throat> keep a little bit of symmetry, I guess you would call it. And so, this is pretty straightforward, honestly. We want to dump out gravity lenses, graviton lenses, so we need diamonds which I know we have an abundance of, and we need strange matter, which we do not have an abundance of. We need to set that up. So this is a four to one. So let's just dump this to five and dump this to 12. Well, the 1300 is fine. These, we can set this to 5,000. <clears> We're not gonna need cranking out that many of them. Obviously put this all the way up. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up putting warpers in this same in the same thing here. So that can go to local supply and go to remote supply. And the warpers, again, I want to make 2000 is fine. <clears throat> the remote supply issue is because these are going to be sending 400 at a time, which I don't need 400. But the way you did on another planet is you have one interstellar logistics station accepting warpers, and then you distribute that one to all the satellite ones that are around the planet. Instead of them all requesting warper because then you're going to end up with 10,000 warpers on one planet and you, you don't need that many you need you know a few hundred um, and they'll keep replenishing as needed but we're going to dump that in there and then we're going to dump that into there this we're going to leave alone for now and let's see what the build is going to be Alrighty, so we're going to put this up here 
Yeah, might as well keep doing it like that. It's kind of neat. Maybe we'll put it down. Just put it down to here. Okay, graviton lenses. Again, this is pretty straightforward. They basically take, they're on a six second cycle. So if we have six of them, we have one per second. Now, that means we'll be needing four diamonds per second, which means we could have seven sets of that. Um, so to break it down, if we have 30 machines, right, to spit out, or sorry, if we have six per second to get one per second, and they say we have uh, 30 machines, that means we're gonna be needing 20 diamonds per second, which we can do, right? Because it's five times four. If we have 36, we could do 24. So we could probably do 42 um, on a belt because that means we'll only be using seven per second times that. So we could do 42 on a belt. So what we're gonna do with that is we'll split it up into 21. So let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 70 is that. One, <laughs> they can't count three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're gonna do six, nope. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <clears throat> now it's gonna put it at 28, not 30, but whatever, right? And I could even do more than that because that would be running it off. Um, like if I wanna use two of these belts, you could do double this, but we're just gonna, we'll just run one, um, one line, one line. So we're gonna grab the diamonds here, run that all the way down to here, great. And we're gonna run the strange matter, because remember, we're not making tons of strange matter yet. So I have a feeling all that we have made is gonna get used up in this, um, in this build well of course it will and back into that perfect and i did select what this is going to be right yes i did <clears throat> all right so we're going to have basically in out in and this is a pretty straightforward build uh oh, can, we, can we do this part oh my gosh so we're going to run all of this all the way down that's 15 and we're going to do another six can we do another six, please? Okay, that's that. And then we are gonna run, because remember this is 21, we're gonna do 42, right? So we're gonna run another set over here. And we're gonna run the same thing here. We'll have diamonds coming out. Run that all the way down. Wish you could have, wow, my run speed is pretty fast, I guess. Fly speed is obviously faster. Okay, so this is gonna be set up to do the same thing. And let's hook the belts, the inserters. So this one's gonna be output, input. And we can run these all the way down to 15. And then we gotta grab a few more. I don't know why that always does like I hover over it and I click and then it's like, nope, you're not lined up enough. Thanks a lot, right? Make sure they're all gonna be, nope, they all are not. This one is gonna go like that, and then this one is gonna go like that. And let's trim that off, that's fine. We're gonna leave that as is. And let's set up some power. Two, three, we should end up using 10 of those. See, it's good when everything turns to flashing red, because that means you have everything at least in the power grid, I guess, for this, this segment. Do that, put another one here, drop one over here. That should connect to that one. And this one's gonna be in business, and now this is all hooked up. So let's fire it up and see if we made a mistake. I don't think we did. We're gonna do remote storage, we're gonna do remote demand, that, and this is gonna be local supply only. And then let's see how many of these we actually have. Oh, look at that. We actually have 1,300. Well, no, we don't. We have 1050. This is going to be no problem because they're literally coming from right there. And look at that. We are. So make sure that my math is right because every six of these would use um, four. So we only have three and a half times that. 
So we're only at like, what, 16 per second, which is nothing. We could obviously do a lot more, but um, for now, this is fine. And I guess I should have ran that, at, listed that a different way, is if, he, if this would be on the inside, you could run this at 42. Because I did this, you actually have twice as much as what we need, so... Um, yeah, that was kind of a... I shouldn't have... Like, I kind of spoke uh, out of turn the way the math worked out. Because one of these belts could supply 42 of these machines, not two. But it doesn't really matter, because we're going to be cranking them out. We already got 100 made up. This is great. And what we're going to do straight from this is we are going to set up so you have 42, so 42, so we're actually making seven per second, which is fine. Now to make this here, if we have 10 of these, we're using one per second. So obviously that's nowhere near. So we want to have more than 10 of these. We want to have, and this is just a setup until we get green cubes. And then we're obviously going to switch to that method, but we could have 20, 30. Should we do 40 to have four per second? We could do 40 of them. I just don't know if I could put another one of these here. Uh, it's kind of... Uh, yeah, it's all the way down here. But what we could do, actually, is we could run it... And this is, again, we're going to run 40 of these. Do I even have enough assemblers for that? I do at 44. Is what we'll do is... Kind of cheat... Eh, not cheating, obviously. We're not cheating anything. But to kind of stick with the theme of just building in between these... Um, longitude lines, or sorry, these would be latitude lines, I guess, because they're going in the shape of a ladder, is we'll kind of just rig it, because these are all going to go into here, and it's kind of silly to run drones over to this, but we're not going to have our our green science build, we can't do them anywhere else, we're not going to have our green science build, like, right here, we're going to have that eventually somewhere else, so we're just going to drone them again. It's not going to be that, not that many. Like we're not going through that many. And this, I'm just going to leave this. Now, again, I could double this. I kind of misspoke because 42 would run off one blue belt. And basically, I have this set up for 21, which, you know, whatever. And look at that. We're already out of strange matter. So we're going to be able to make maybe a thousand, and that's going to be it, which is fine. I still have this thing. What is this from? What am I shooting this at? The sun? Okay, I must have been off planet and did that. So what we're going to do is it's kind of a little bit backwards, I guess you could say. But we want to set up... Oh, this is 21, so we could easily set it up. Oh, let's just set it up. We could do it right here. Or, sorry, we want to do it... Uh, yeah, we'll just do it here, and we'll drag the belts down. Maybe a little bit weird, but... Now we're going to set up warpers here, and this is going to just bring in the graviton lenses because that's all that's needed to make a warper. And we're not going to bring in tons of them. Right, cool, let's do 2,000, and we'll have this at 2,000. We'll dump that in there. We'll dump that in there. And this is going to be maximum, and this is going to be maximum. And obviously, as these come into this, it'll automatically fill up this slot. Uh, local supply is fine. Because eventually they're going to get switched. Because I have a small rig of this I showed you before. Remote, local supply, remote storage, remote supply, yes. Because this is going to be my main hub or my main logistics station, I guess, for putting out warpers into space. And then, of course, we can add, we can have three more slots to add something else onto here. I don't know if we will, but we have it. And what I want to do here, again, I'm going to leave it there and then I'm going to build here. We can build 20, so that's 15. And then, let's see, blue, well, it's fifth. Ooh, why are they so close? I kind of don't like them that close. Sorry, I should have checked that before. All right, we're going to drop it from here. And we're just going to do 15, to be just tab one, that's 15. Yeah, that'll keep it in line with that. And we're just going to go out to 20. I guess we might as well go to 21 just to match this because we're going to have one in and we're going to have one out yeah i guess we might as well do 21 which is kind of skewing with ratios ratio people are going to have a fit over that but hey what are you going to do so 
So we're going to drag everything in, and then this one's going to be dragging everything out. This is going to be. This is a pretty simple build. It's just getting to this point that's you know a bit of a pain in the butt, I guess you could say. That I definitely missed one right here, and that would definitely be a problem there. I love having fast drones. I wish I could walk even faster than I can now, but I can't. So we're basically gonna, just going to do, this is going to be in, out, in, out. Very simple. And we're going to pick the lenses, which I didn't do before. Or no, we're going to do warpers, sorry. So we're going to be producing, well, it'd be like four point, I don't know, one per second. Oh, shoot, come on. Tab, tab, tab there and then we're gonna do copy pick copy what oh it's too far away i'm like why is that not grabbing that oh it's just too far away there we're gonna tab 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 and we're gonna run this all the way down <clears throat> So yeah, we're gonna be producing, cause we're gonna have an extra two. So yeah, I guess it'd be like 4.2 per second, which again, you know, whatever, right? It's not a huge deal. Tab, tab, tab. And now we're gonna slap some power poles, which you can do here, 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 there. Now I should have put them straight across from each other, but this is kind of like a cool checkerboard pattern, right? Cause it actually doesn't really matter how you put them in because you it doesn't affect anything as long as everything's covered you are good to go all right and we're going to hook this up to some power as well all right and we basically have coming out there and we're going to have this be the lenses coming in and we're going to do let's see local demand and they're going to spit out because we we definitely well we definitely have a full Oh, no, actually, we don't have a full. All right, because we're out of strange matter, uh, which is fine, because we're not making green cubes anyway, so it doesn't matter that it's all just going to go right into this. And here they come. And, ooh, there they go, because this is super fast. Power doing perfectly. How's our Dyson Swarm? Oh, I got 1.1 gigawatts, 31,000. That is great. And what's the sale life? Does it say it in? It doesn't say it in here, but it would say it. Uh, Dyson Sphere... Does it say the sale of life? Well, we're producing like five times what we're using. Uh, what is it actually under? Which tab is that? This, the T. So solar sale life is 8,100 seconds. Now, I'm going to use my calculator for that because I don't want to do that in my head. So 8,100 seconds divided by 60. It's 135 minutes, obviously, divided by 60 again is 2.25 hours per sale which is like awesome by the way sorry about that okay so we're making we are making now these are automatically going to go right over here to to these here Okay, there's our little, oh, look at that. Oops, I want to drop out of orbit here. So this is going to go to here, or no. No, right, because these are our main, our, our bringing in hub. So this is going to bring in, that's why we're even going to go to 100, which is fine. And then yeah, this is remote, local demand, and then this one's going to be local demand as well. And this is, well, I want this to be at 100 as well. You just got to be careful when you start getting these maxed out. Um, they're demanding that because these are going to go up to get Kimberlite Ore, which we're not doing anything with yet. And we have the Organic Crystals and then the Fire Ice. You might as well max that. Like, why not, right? This one here is bringing in local... Su Wait, what? Why am I doing that? Um... This local demand this, so I can empty this. I don't know why I'm bringing. Well, I think I just did it just to bring it in. 
Uh, I could, I guess, just belt it in. Let me just do that. Uh, yeah, I kind of do. I want to empty this because I don't. Um, I don't. I don't need this. Like we're doing fine like this, and this can be local supply, and this can be removed, and that can be reset. And that can be storage. And this can be local supply, remote domain. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to have it, I think, just to get a big influx in. Which we obviously, we don't need it at this point anymore. This is going to stop coming in. I'm going to collect all of these. And then the drones, I also don't need. Because they're just going to, this is just going to feed into here. So this is basically, oh, no, 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 no. Storage. This is basically going to be doing nothing at this point. I just want to send this into here. Um, yeah, that should be... Is that okay? Yeah, we have 360. Because you only should have one. This one's bringing some in too. Okay, which is fine. This we're demanding. This is local demand. Remote storage. This is remote demand, local supply. Yeah, and this is remote supply, local supply. This is fine for now. And that's going to bring in, while we're bringing in 200, I want to put this actually to 100. Can I do that? Yeah, 100. And then, yeah, okay, that, that should be fine. Because that needs it, that needs it, that one does int. Wow, are we added deuterium? We have deuterium in both of these, why? I don't know why there's a chair in both of these. I guess just to store it. I don't know. This is fine. Like this, this is going to be the next episode. But yeah, okay, we're good here with the fractal silicon. This is the spinal form slagma, which makes the um, carbon nanotubes. This is fine. This is going to empty eventually because we're not using carbon. Like we're not using graphene right now. Like we're not using any of that. Purple cubes. We are. Why are we out of purple cubes? Oh, because we need this. Oh. Wait, hold on a second. Um, what is the... What? Level demand. Is this seriously not hooked up? Oh my gosh. Oh, I know why. I did this on purpose because I want to set up a whole build, a new build of this. That's why I did... Can I shift this? So that's why I did... Is there power to this separately? That's why I did this. Um, this is not right. Um, this can go away as well. Okay, yeah, we're doing a little bit of maintenance. I guess I also want this to go away. Why? This is we need graphene for this. We don't need this at all. What are we lacking here? Oh right, the crystals. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna call an episode here. We're at thirty minutes, and I think when we come back, we can actually cross these off our list because we are making it, and we have tons of this. And we're what's our storage like? Are we do we have any? Do we have one box full yet? Uh, no, but I mean each box can hold I think eighty thousand or or eight thousand. No, eighty thousand. We got this coming in, like we're perfect on fuel now. And then this is slow because we don't have strange matter. Now we can make this uh, eventually. We just, um, deuterium goes in strange matter and goes into deuterium fuel rods. So since this is maxed out, this, we actually don't need this much, really. We need 2,000. Let's just go to local supply. Is that going to put it somewhere else? Um... Yeah, we don't need that many because it fills up, right? Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It would really help with the channel. We got some warpers. Well, we don't because they're used up. But we will start making warpers and we got lenses. Again, we need strange matter. We need crystals. We need everything. So in the next episode, we're definitely going to make these crystal silicon crystals, I guess. But we do have... What is this called? We do have natural silicon ore which is great. So we don't actually have to make silicon from 
silicon ore or from rocks to get this. So this is going to be a simple build because this is basically one every 0 .5, 0 0.75 seconds. One in, we'll be able to put 45 on a, no, we won't be able to put 45. Yeah, but we had to put, uh, not 45 on a belt because 45 would be 60. So we'll be able to put 22 or 23 on a belt. It's fine. doesn't matter. But we're going to set that up in the next episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next episode.